Hey everybody, had a really, really cool thing happen the other day. A good friend of mine and colleague basically announced to the world some gratitude towards me and some of the stuff that I've been doing to help him. It's really nothing compared to what he does to everybody else and, and the kids that play golf in this world, but uh, it felt really good and I believe that we should be paying stuff like that forward and doing more of that stuff. And I think an attitude of gratitude can really help your golf game. This is the Golf Essentials Podcast with Casey Bork. So on Facebook the other day, a good friend of mine, Brendan Elliott, with um, he's the, the founder of Little Linksters Association for Junior Golf here in Orlando. Um, he's a national PGA Award winner for junior golf development, has been doing it for 10 years, and I've been working with him on some of the web stuff and, and promoting his group, and I've served on his board of directors uh, for a few years, and he's uh, basically put me, put me in or elected me as president of the group this year, so uh, actually two years, so I'll be there for two years. But an interesting thing, a really interesting thing happened on Facebook the other day, and it relates to gratitude, and Brennan is definitely a giver in his life. He gives his time, and he is absolutely an absolute professional at his trade, and the reason that he's so successful is that he he's very good at expressing his gratitude and you know, being appreciative of the things that people do for him. And he basically unsolicited put up a post on Facebook the other day and sort of called me out and was extremely, extremely complimentary and um, had some really, really nice things to say. And it, I could tell you it really hit home, you know, and, um, you know, to, to think that, uh, you know, there are people out there that you're impacting and doing good things for. And when they, when they speak up and say something like that, you know, he, he basically uh, announced to the world that, you know, I had been doing good things to help him. And then I was a, a good friend and a mentor. And it was a very cool thing. And the resulting conversation and people chiming in and man, it was, a, it was, a, it made my day. And I can tell you that expressing, you know, here's, here's sort of where I'm going with this. I, I just think that you know, that sort of stuff echoes, you know, when people do nice things or they express gratitude or thanks in a genuine way like Brendan did. I want nothing more than to pay it forward and to get get it back to him, you know, and it's just a, a great way to exist. And that's how Brendan, Brendan does exist. He does that all the time for people and it's, um, it's a very, very powerful thing. So, you know, in golf, I, I just, um, I, I really believe in, in that whole mentality that, you know, everybody should be truly grateful. If you're out there grinding and trying to figure out how to play golf, there are a lot of other things that you could be doing that are worse, right? So even if you're struggling or you're nervous or you can't hit certain shots or you, you know you're you're feeling these challenges that you're you're having a hard time overcome overcoming it's golf and gratitude and that that sort of mentality of appreciating what you're doing and how you're doing it and why you're doing it honestly can can help you overcome that and I've been deep into the depths of I guess you could use the word despair right so I almost quit the game back uh, when I was uh, in college and I almost quit the game because I had the putting yips so bad I couldn't make a two-foot putt to save my life in in competition I just put way too much pressure on myself and I came one rainy day away from telling my dad and my family that I, I was just done playing golf forever. And it was, it was that heavy for me. And, you know, having a conversation with my dad and having him handle it the absolute right way 
in so far as he basically said, hey, if you're not enjoying this, let's not do it. If you want to do it, that's great. If you don't, that's cool. And that lifted such a weight off my shoulders. And, and I'm obviously super thankful for that. You know, a lot of dads, if um, their their kid was, you know, starting to get kind of good at something and, you know, could see could see a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow sort of thing they could be pushing you and forcing you and my my parents absolutely weren't so I'm super thankful for that but you know paying things forward are are important to me and you know I asked a, a question on Twitter the other day and what sort of what sort of shots out there scare you you know there might be certain areas of the game that you just completely avoid because you struggle with certain shots or you're super nervous about a tee shot or you don't like left to right putts or whatever it might be. And, you know, I want to, I want to help. I want to help you guys and I want to help you overcome those, those fears and those challenges that you have. And so I, I really encourage you to reach out and let me know what challenges you have, you know, so one of the shots that I I heard from people that most frequently scares people is, is, is those sort of 40 or 50 yard pitch shots. That's, that's the most common answer, at least in, in the recent days that I've seen. And you know, all I can say to that is, you know, fall back on some sort of process rather than, you know, hitting and hoping or ballparking or just, you know, trying to set up and estimate what you're going to do and, and hit it and try something new every time if it doesn't work. So commit to a process that you believe is going to pay off one month out not something that's going to pay off for the next shot and help you survive the next shot. Um, so by that, I mean, you know, in your practice, try to try to build one benchmark, you know? So if you've got a 56 degree wedge or a sand wedge, something like that, what I would suggest is try to build into your game a nine o'clock to nine o'clock wedge shot. And the, the, the shot will fly less than half of the distance that a full shot would go. So it would, uh, if you normally hit your, your sand wedge 80 yards, you might hit this 9 o'clock to 9 o'clock 30 yards. And that gives you something to fall back on. That, that gives you a benchmark. So if, if you know that that 9 o'clock to 9 o'clock swing carries 30 yards then you know that maybe swinging it just a little further than that might carry 35 or 40 yards. And when you're out on the golf course and you're faced with that shot, I get that you can lay it back and, you know, leave your 80 or 90 yard full shot every time, but you're just not going to be as good from there as you would be from 30 or 40 yards if you knew how to play those shots. And so let's try to overcome that. And so once you've got that benchmark, then, then you're focused on things like the length of your backswing and positive things like that. So something that you want to do rather than standing over the ball, fearing the chunk, the skull, the shank, right? Fearing looking stupid. You know that you've got a, you've got a process, you've got an approach that has worked in the past and you can lean on that and and hopefully conquer that fear. So I I hope that uh, golf is golf is a big challenge guys and I, I hope that you know you can enjoy golf the most if you are able to identify your weak areas and improve the weak areas rather than driving home strengths. Because golf has a nasty way of exposing your weaknesses. And over time, 
it's just not that much it's not nearly as fun if you've got these huge gaps in your game that you're just afraid to address and so i would encourage you to try to bring up the tail end of your game address those soft spots and really focus on those in your practice sessions so guys i'm super thankful for all of you super thankful for you you to be listening and um, it means a lot to me and reach out if there's anything i can do to help if uh, if this stuff is all good to you i really hope that you would rate rate it share it like it pass it along um, that would really help and i appreciate all of you thanks